Welcome back to Ways. Today is National Date Not um, Date Not Bread Day. This is um, this day delivers the baker's delight to celebrate. Um, incidentally, some sources also suggest that this day is celebrated on September the 8th. Um, dates provide essential nutrients and are excellent source of dietary potassium. And several studies have shown that those who consume nuts on a regular basis are less likely to suffer from coronary heart disease. I don't like <laughs> dates. You don't like dates? Neither it's too, do I. It's too, it's too sweet. sweet. It's too really? sweet. Yes. Neither do I. Oh, I, I only take it, it when you put it in uh, tiger nut milk. Mm. Otherwise, I don't. I don't. I, I run far I away from it. I abstain totally from it. But it has it. a lot of benefits. That's so. great. So does bitter Very. cola. <laughs> <laughs> so extreme for this bitter. Is no, but I like bitter cola. I take it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very, it's actually, maybe because you didn't, me, my lifestyle, I lived all my life in the North. Oh, so, yeah, they love I mean, uh, I mean, during yeah, even uh, their azimuth period, the fasting period, that's what they used, you know, because it has oh, so yeah. much, go and study it. Okay, in fact, the research was so long, but I just had to shrink well, it. Study it. It actually has so many, but you like bitter cola, you know, day. Exactly. And tiger nuts, which so that should cover. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so what did we find in the news? Let's start with EC. Where's the you? Why me? <laughs> yes, you. <laughs> yes, you. <laughs> Quickly. Okay. Yeah. One quick one. Okay. It was reported in the Vanga that, um, I take my words back yesterday, actually, um, Frosters were actually interested in being rehabilitated. Yes. Velma Foundation actually found, uh, uh, is um, rehabilitating 20 um, Yahoo boys um, uh, in conjunction with or in partnership with EFCC. Wow. So they're not just actually arresting them. You they're see? actually looking for ways to actually make Our guest them has been vindicated <laughs> because he kept telling Izzy yesterday that these people truly want to be rehabilitated. And if given a chance. Insisted. That not, not no. everyone wants to be a young boy. She exactly. kept saying no. <laughs> because I've noticed there's something foreign crime mm. agencies do. When they notice that you're really brilliant at what you do. They recruit they, you. They recruit you, exactly. Yeah. So this brain use it for good. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, learn to yeah. Do. so it was born out of the need to actually change the concept of bad impact impression of Nigerians awesome. abroad That's as well. That's fantastic news. Yes. That's fantastic Absolutely. news. Sons, you talk about you. Okay, well, moving to me, I particularly love human angle stories. And the reason mm -hmm. I picked up the story is because it's related to violence. And I don't think we can talk enough about it. Mm -hmm. uh, rising singer Ramsky Wire um, in, in the news said that his girlfriend organized a, uh, what do you call it, area boys to beat him up just because he slapped her. And so the girl... <laughs> Yeah. Why are you clapping? That that is that, that's, that's, that's not okay. Excuse Excuse who is violent? Hold on, Excuse hold on. Us. He hey. slapped her first. Can I lag, please, ladies? <laughs> okay. So Let's he slapped the advocate. girlfriend, and then the girlfriend hired area boys to beat her up, and she also went ahead, went ahead to oh, say, you're now. hold on, to say that he raped her, which is a lie. Oh no. So these she are. Oh, so this is the case that. of that two people who are wrong. Yeah. You well, know. It, well, you know why I'm clapping. Mm. I like personally for you to first of all value who you are. Anybody that is around me knows that when it comes to you can you can say whatever it is you want to say to me with words. Mm. Fight me with your words. Don't go physical with me. I, I, I personally feel it's the highest level of weakness for you to raise your hands on somebody. And so is it okay Don't to retaliate? Either. No, 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 no. I would never either. do that. I would never do that. I'll probably be, would have called police on him. Not that I'll call area police, because that means she's a bigger tyrant. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it depends on so the I wouldn't of applaud either one. No. Well, yeah. well. But you never know where this is actually coming, coming from. from yeah. Yes. Nasa, how about you? Okay, so very quickly, from the nation, uh, the president of Egypt, uh, Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, is urging world leaders to um, embrace and encourage their youth because there's a lot of potential in them. So he says, you know, allow them to express themselves, make the youth people who take the floor and take the first steps. And what even struck me most was he said, there's no present without them and no future without with anyone else but them. So the youth sure. are critical. And for Africa, from the World Bank report, Africa has a very young population, 46% of the population in Africa, including Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Uh, below 15 years old. So guess what? We have a lot of work to do. We need to focus on our youth and empower them. It is all about the youth. I We've always said right. that, you know, but I just hope they're listening because I'll just quickly take my story because um, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, while giving um, a uh, like a keynote speech at the 31st convention of Futa Kure, said that Nigerian graduates are the un unemployable status is worrisome. 
that he was saying that a lot of companies are coming right now to say that um, they are unable, they are unable to employ yeah. Nigerian graduates. And you know what really, really irked me was that the fact that he was saying to the universities, he's trying to put it on the universities that, I mean, they should do everything in their power to, to correct this um, issue that this present regime considered, according to Punch, education as the cornerstone of na na national development with universities as a pinnacle of education. What I said, wait, now wait. So education. I just quickly went to one uh, picture that someone sent to me. Mm -hmm. Health for 2020 budget, mm -hmm. 46 billion, mm -hmm. right? Education had 48 that's billion. That's absolutely. They listen, you know. Mm -hmm. Renovation of the National Assembly had 37 billion. Mm -hmm. Come on, if you want to solve a problem, put your money it. where so your, your mouth, mouth is. is. You have not prioritized mm -hmm. education, you know. And you you're putting go it and check too. anywhere in the world. It is very expensive yep. to get a proper education. Absolutely. Most of the government subsidize this this um, the cost so that their citizens can get well educated. So you cannot just say that universities should, um, uh, what's it called, try to correct this norm of um, youth being unemployed. Currently in university, well, I crammed. I don't know about you guys. I agree. I crammed a lot. You, you I studied have, physics, oh I crammed gosh. a lot to pass. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. And it's, it's the same thing with everybody. Mm -hmm. Very valid point. Come However, on. I am and would always be of the opinion that Listen, if you want to make yourself employable, irrespective of whatever they have going on in the corridors of, uh, uh, of, of Asuro, you can, listen, I use myself so as an example your all the time. Wait, no, you use yourself and you make yourself employable. How? No, that's a, if that's you don't a, have the right foundation that. to I, I, I do I'm that. I'm sorry, what foundation that. are we talking about? Okay. I was born and bred in Nigeria. I went to Nandesiko University. Okay, so all the youths who are going to... Uh, is the university no, not the same? Okay, you know what? Nigeria is, has forced you to start to think uh, this way and make no, it seem okay. It is not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. But I'm saying that if the government is not going to help you, while we are attacking the government, you should also invest in yourself. I agree. That's just what I'm saying. The president can't come out and say that he's he's putting it on the universities. It's not their responsibility. What are you doing about it? I think this is a very heated conversation. I think it is. We're going to bring you back, <laughs> because Sassy. I have a different view <laughs> on but it. But Sassy, actually we're actually taking a breather. So we will take a breather, but we will bring I, back I this topic. I, and I can I, tell I, you that feel. because the government is not doing, um, so doing what they're supposed to do, it doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it right. I have invested a lot of money in personal development, Absolutely. and I know that this it has gotten me to a certain stage. But the the, the responsibility is not for me to do that. Absolutely. All right, that's what, we're that's what we can take on <laughs> what's in the news. Sheon Kuti joins us after the break. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.